Hey everyone, this is the Tut Kid, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a custom theme for a custom ROM on your rooted Motorola Droid 1. Uh, uh, basically what we're going to be doing is taking the original uh, look of Ultimate Droid, which is the ROM that I'm using right now, and putting it on, uh, changing all the icons and everything. Uh, right here you're looking at a custom theme already, but I'm going to be changing that as well. Uh, this theme is a, pers a private theme that I've found. Um, and the theme that I'm going to be installing is 928 Droids. Uh, smoke glass, I think it is. Or black glass, something like that. Uh, theme and I'll provide a download for it. I haven't actually even seen this theme, but I've heard that 928 Droid makes amazing themes. Uh, this is not illegal in any way. It does violate Verizon's terms of service with you, though. So if you really don't want to get on bad, Verizon's bad side, or if uh, you're afraid of messing up your phone, then I would not recommend doing this because it will void the warranty. So, um, first thing you gotta do is you have to have a, you have to have it rooted, and you have to have a custom ROM. Uh, my instructions will be, they will work for any ROM. So, uh, you have to also have a recovery system, so if you rooted through a one-click method like Universal and Root, or Easy Root, uh, this won't work because you have to have a recovery still. Uh, the two most popular recoveries are SP Recovery and Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can download Clockwork Mod Recovery in the market uh, through ROM Manager, which is an app made by Clockwork Mod. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, turn off your phone. Or, not sorry. Uh, first thing you need to do is connect your phone to your computer. So. Okay, so once it's connected, you need to uh, connect it, uh, USB connect, and turn on the USB storage. Uh, you might get this popped up. Alright, so you've got USB storage on, and you've had this popped up if you're using Windows. Uh, click open folder to view files and you'll be on this. Um, that's my ROM that I had. We don't even need to worry about that. Okay, so your uh, theme needs to be named update zip and that the zip is the uh, file extension so don't make sure that you haven't like messed it up in any way by saying that it's uh, like update.zip.zip .zip. it just needs to be update.zip and move it to the root of your uh, of your phone SD card. Okay, uh, once it's on your phone, you can turn off the USB storage on here. And unplug it. So now you need to turn off the phone. And then you need to press um, the X button on this, which is uh, right there on your physical keyboard. So press the X and power and turn it back on. So, uh, once it's at the boot logo, you don't need to worry about it. And you should be at um, your uh, recovery. I'm using Clockwork Mod Recovery because uh, that's just what I downloaded. Um, so, go into install zip dot, uh, from SD card and click apply update dot zip. And then click yes.
All right. Uh, once you're done, click uh, press the power button on your phone right there, and go into reboot system now um, using your D. Alright, you should be in your uh, on your lock screen now, and you will have seen that there's a drastic change in your um, and in your uh, home screen. And everything you look in your apps, you'll see that the icons have been changed. Um, it really does. I mean, everything everything changes because it's a theme and. Uh, you'll notice a lot of different things uh, depending on what theme you're using. If it's a custom theme, if it's a custom theme. You should be uh, a little more prone because you'll uh, every app you have that you've made themes for or made uh, uh, icons for will be a little uh, a little different, I guess you'd say. Uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, Tuck kids signing out.